Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. And finally, we've had some progress about those leaks that we talked about about a month ago. And I want to share you with the very latest update from Cambridge so you're aware how they're going to actually deal with the leaks. And it's great they've actually sent out this document so we know exactly what's going to happen with your grades. Right, let's go over to that document and let's get started. Okay, so this is the document that the Cambridge have sent out about the leaks. So I thought we'd go through this together and really get the key points of what's actually going on here. So you can see, obviously they take these things very, very seriously and they've spent quite a bit of time getting all that evidence together. And they have found a potential paper link for the AS level maths exam. So paper one, two, taken on the 2nd of May, 2024. So this paper specifically, and they've reviewed the evidence from multiple sources. So thank you for actually submitting your evidence to Cambridge, because that's really helped in this investigation. And they found a significant number of students from Pakistan have actually seen the paper before the start of the exam. Now, the question I've been hearing is, okay, is this just Pakistan only, or does it other countries? As far as I'm aware, this is only gonna happen in Pakistan, these uh, assessed marks, which we'll talk about in a moment. Other countries will still be assessed in exactly the same way they will take your A-level exam. Again, of course, their priority is to make sure that the it's fair to the majority of students who do not cheat. So making sure anyone that has cheated has got no advantage. And they're going to use this process they called here called assessed marks to ensure uh, students are treated equally and fairly. Now, the way that that actually happens, so it's described here, is they're going to disregard the marks for that paper in Pakistan. So if you did the A-level maths paper one, two, and you did that exam in Pakistan, that's going to be disregarded. Now, it's obviously very unfair to those students, obviously, that did not cheat in Pakistan, but they think it's the only fair way to do this. And what they're going to do is actually look at the performance in other A-level maths papers to actually judge how they would have done in paper one. Now, as you notice here, the first thing is, I found stats one really difficult. How can I use stats one or mechanics one to model that? Well, they are aware that those papers are more tricky. And so they reflect that in the pure mathematics mark. Cambridge have a ton of evidence over many, many years of how students do, depending on their stats and mechanics, how they get on in pure. And so that's what they're going to use to help you. So you're not disadvantaged if you're in Pakistan. Now, if you've got a question about IGCSE maths leaks, as far as aware, there hasn't been any extra information about IGCSE specifically. At the moment, they're just looking at A-level maths. However, if you're not happy with the idea of assessed marks here, what you can do is actually reset the exam, the same option exam, so paper one, two, in November 2024 without any extra charge. So if you feel for some reason you didn't really do that well in your stats paper or mechanics paper, and you feel, okay, I really need to show what I can do in pure one specifically, you do have the option to actually do this in November 2024. So make sure you talk to your exam officer in your school and get entered for that exam and in fact if you do the November 2024 paper you're probably doing P3 at that point in which case you're actually going to find that paper fairly straightforward and fairly simple so I would recommend actually if you're not happy with the assess mark approach that you can always do November 2024. So Again, as they've said here, this is an extremely rare occurrence, particularly cheating on a wide scale. I'm very, very happy that Cambridge have really taken this seriously and actually put something in place to help students specifically in Pakistan. If you want to know more about how Cambridge actually catches cheaters, then check out the video right in front of you. Go through one of the techniques they use in order to find those people that cheat.